Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and I'm going to show you guys a quick way to get rid of all the revisions that pile up in WordPress as you edit your pages and post. Uh, this will be a quick uh, video. Um, really simple, but um, we all know with the latest upgrades to WordPress they have what's called the revisions feature and it saves um, you know all of copies of all of your work um, it's part of an auto save feature so let's say we're just gonna you know go through some simple no-brainer stuff here I'm just gonna copy and paste that I'm gonna update the page currently we had um, there is actually a revision count in your page editor or post editor. We have revisions right here. 11. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and paste, paste another one. Gonna update. And we're just going to watch this count right here. Now there's 12 revisions every time you do something inside the page. Okay. I'm just pasting in you know, duplicate text that I can easily remove. But I'm making a change to the page and I'm updating. Now we're up to 13 revisions. Okay. And let's just do it one more time. We made another change to the page. We we're trying out something, you know, a layout or a plug-in or something. You know, you lose track, actually, while you're working of how many times you update a page. I mean, literally, you can sit down uh, to put in some work on your blog or your website. And on one page, you know, you might be really trying to dial it in, fine-tune it, figure out how you want the layout and stuff. You could pile up. 20, 30, 40, 50 revisions in, in one night or one day, you know, in a couple of hours or whatever, um, experimenting with your one page. So multiply that times however many pages or posts you have in your WordPress site. That's where it starts to become a factor. And what it can actually do is slow down your website. Um, it's a great feature. It's definitely something that we need, but I wish they would incorporate um, some type of control over the feature. Let's say I'm not a blog. I don't do that much writing or updating, and I don't need to save every single copy of everything I, I do. Um, maybe I only want to save two or three revisions, or you know, five re revisions or ten revisions. But after that, I don't want to keep any more revisions, you know, but this is endless. I had one page in one of my sites, one page alone had 115 revisions, and that website has about 70 pages. So, you know, you can kind of do the math. So um, my speed, page load, everything increased uh, once I got rid of a ton of re revisions. I had literally hundreds, hundreds. Um, of revisions so your particular case you know may be different but uh, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of all those um, you want to go to plugins you're going to install a really simple easy plugin um, the name speaks for itself and it is called optimize database after deleting revisions you want to do a search for that plugin you want to install it and activate it. Optimize database after deleting revisions. Okay. Now, once you download, install, and activate that plugin, what you're going to see right up here is a button. Okay. And that's going to give you a one click um, ability to get rid of all your revisions, you know in an instant basically um, so let's see we want to go and check out um, let's see I'm trying to 
trying to figure out where it is. Uh, should be under settings. I probably just can't see it because my window. Optimize database options right here. Okay, so it adds a um, an option under settings for optimized database, and you want to go to optimized database options. Apologize for that little <laughs> um, stumble there. Uh, and here's where you apply your settings. Now you can tell it how many numbers of uh, the most recent revisions you want to keep per post or page. For this particular site, I have it set at two. I only want to keep two revisions. I spell check, I do double check my work uh, extensively uh, prior to publishing, um, and I don't need to keep 10 revisions of, of a page because if I publish it today, I don't need what I did yesterday. I, I don't. Um, but I do use, do backups on my site, so I have backups of my work, but I don't need to keep Mondays, you know, if today is Friday, I don't need copies of what I did on Monday because what I did today is better than what I did on Monday. Anyway, but uh, you can tell it how many revisions you want to keep. Um, you can tell it to delete uh, trashed items, delete spammed items, unused tags, expired transients, and keep a log. I have all of that selected. And I don't have it set on a schedule right now, but you can set it on a schedule. And here's the option to show the button up here. Show one click link in admin bar. You want to check that so you can have that. And then you also have the option to um, select which uh, database tables um, you want to exclude or include in the um, tools search for all these items. Um, so I include my entire database. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, I include pages and posts and so with one click and we're going to go back to let's see what uh, page was that that uh, we were working on I believe it was or let's do this Okay, it was out the shop news. All right, so as I showed you before, we were building up how many revisions, and we watched the count just go up and up. Okay, added about four or five revisions on there. Now I'm going to use the one click button option for this handy little plugin. Optimize database, one click. Okay, it's going to refresh, it's going to bring you to the optimized database page, and it's going to tell you what it did. Alright, so it deleted six revisions for this page, one re revision each for these pages, seven revisions for this page, twelve revisions for the one we were working on, two revisions for that page, and four revisions for that page total of 34 revisions were deleted gives you a log tells you what tables where and everything it's really just a nice simple plugin I like the way the guy did it and at the bottom it tells you before optimization and after optimization so look how much saved 2.483 megabytes off of the database just from revisions Okay. That's a lot for a database. A database holds data, not images and stuff like that. It holds data. So when you talk about megabytes for data, you're talking about a lot of data. <laughs> and that's a lot of revisions right there. Um, 2.4 megabytes of revisions. So definitely download and install this plugin um, if you have a large site or if you have tons of pages and or do a lot of writing and you don't necessarily need to keep 200 300 revisions putting a load on your database slowing down your website optimize your WordPress database okay plugin is called optimize database after deleting revisions all right download and install that
and you'll notice a difference if you've been having uh, you know slow page load times and stuff like that and you've got uh, tons of revisions that could be part of the problem all right so more tips tools and tutorials from Alan at mindvisionmedia.net once again thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel and don't forget to check out my website too I got a bunch of good stuff there follow my blog leave me some likes give me some comments and if you need help contact me via my website alright talk to you guys later